And so today I'm going to follow up on the last lesson on converting units. Um, last time we converted an imperial unit, uh, which was yards, and we converted that imperial unit into uh, meters, which is a metric unit, um, or an SI unit. And so the way we did that the last time is the first method to do it was uh, using ratios. And so that was the last way we did it, and that's one method. So there's many methods to do this. Um, there's not just one method, there's, there's more than one method. So today we're going to do the second method, which is uh, using a dimensional or dimension analysis. Oh, let me just erase that. A dimensional analysis. And so what we're going to do is we're basically going to convert this 3.2 yards into uh, meters using this here, which is the conversion factor. All right, so what you're going to do is you always start with uh, what you know, what you know. So here we know the 3.2 yards, and so what we're going to do, we're going to start there, and we're going to go 3.2 yards, and we're going to write that down. And then we're going to multiply, and then we multiply it by the conversion factor. And so when we multiply, we draw a line here, and we use a ratio. So here we're going to have 0 0.9144 meters over, so that's the ratio, 0 0.9144 meters over 1 yard. And so this here was a, the conversion factor. All right, and so one way we can write ratios, now let me just do a little quick side note here, is this is the conversion factor. And so there's a ratio that, that we have is 0 0.9144 meters equals one yard. Now we could rewrite that as the same thing by going 0 0.9144 meters over one yard. And that's just the way ratios work. We can write them as uh, equal to each other like this, or we can write them as a, a ratio like that, a one on top of the other, one on the numerator and one on the denominator. You could also, if you wanted, write it as 0 0.9144 meters, and then write a colon to one yard. So those are all the same thing. So we have uh, three different ways to represent a ratio like this, like this, or like this as a colon there. So I'm going to choose the second method as a, as a fraction here. So that's what I did up here. And, and the reason I chose to write the 0 0.9144 meters on the top and not on the bottom is, well, according to math, if I have two variables and one of those variables is on the numerator and the other is the same on the denominator, they'll actually cancel out. So a yard can cancel with another yard there. All right, so those yards completely cancel out. And so just as a side note down here, let's just do a quick side note. Just on the side here. Um, if I had, you know, uh, anything like, let's say if I had A divided by A, well, those cancel out because one's the, the same. The one's on the numerator, one's on the denominator, and you just get one. So, so up here, if I have a yard and divided by another yard, so yard in the denominator, and then remember this is over one, then those yards will actually cancel out. And so all I have to do is multiply these across. So all I do is I go, uh, 3.22 uh, multiplied by 9144. Uh, and so because I'm multiplying fractions, I multiply the numerator and I multiply the denominator. So I'm going to multiply the numerators across here. And so 3.22, let's just see here. So 3.22, or just 3.2, sorry, multiplied by this is 0.9144. Then that's going to equal 2.2. Nine six, sorry, let me erase that. Zero point or two point nine two six zero eight, and the unit we're left with is meters, and so zero point nine two six zero eight meters would be your final answer there. So there we used a, the dimensional analysis method to solve this. All right. And so we use the conversion factor as a ratio so the yards would cancel out. I'm going to post a few more videos on this 
so that uh, everybody can understand this.